بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه ومن ولا ما بعد. Okay, my dear young brothers and sisters. Uh, from today onwards, what we are going to do is we are going to do a series of sessions. So last three sessions, they were each topic a day. Am I right? Each topic a session. From now onwards, inshallah, what we are going to do is we are going to do a series of sessions. So there will be, you know, there will be continuity. One session and then another session will continue. So, if we discuss one topic, we will continue and we will keep moving forward with the next sessions. Okay? So, keep that in mind. So, inshallah, so we will get started. And I hope that uh, this is interesting for you, inshallah. So, let me know if you are able to see the screen. Yes, sir. See the screen? Yes, sir. Okay. Perfect. Okay. The question is, are you a sheep? No. No. Okay. Does everybody say no? Yes. Sir. Right. Obvious. No. Right? Yeah. Everybody will say no because we are human beings. Right. It's a straightforward answer. Correct. Yes. Yes. For a human being, apart from being a sheep, one guy, who are Amman, say no. All are saying no. No, not saying no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So I'm not talking about biologically. Are you a sheep? Okay. Are you a sheep in mentality? Okay, so that's what we're going to discuss today, inshallah. So we will see. Okay, so I'm going to play a video. There'll be no audio here. You just watch. So what are these? Sheeps. Sheep. Okay. Railway track. Railway track, but sheep. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's watch what they do. Okay, they're all grazing on one side, huh? One sheep went to the other side. See what happens. Okay, so this is checking. Okay, now it has moved. Okay, then the other one is also moving. Okay, right. Okay. Okay. Now, is there any reason for these sheep to move to the other side? Is there a reason? Is there any reason? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not able to hear your answer. Am I audible? Can you say something? What are they saying? Yes. 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 No. What is the answer? So because there is more grass on the other side. Mm, that's not true. If that is the case, then why didn't they go there at the first place? And if you see, okay. only one sheep actually went to the place where there were, you know, a lot of grass, right? Other ones were on the other side. Yes, sir. Correct. Yes, sir. Nalla pating na, one or sheep cross pani po chila. Adhu mutanda naraya chedi irke rada thuk po chhe. Mata dalam pating na side la inda pakay abdi irunche. Adhe mari na inda pakum arke angga dam boi nene the. When one sheep went to the other side, the other sheep also followed the sheep which crossed the railway tracks, sir. So there is no reason. One sheep po chhe, right? The other sheep they just followed the sheep that went there. Yes, sir. Getting my point. There is no logic. If you if the sheep would speak, it will tell you, and it will probably give us the same answer that you gave. One sheep went, you know, so we also followed. So question is, do humans behave like this? Namulo on the mari behave pano ma sheep mari. Namo humans thana thinking right. Ning sheep an gata immediately said no, we are not sheep niya. Lea, but the question is, so do humans behave like this? Sometimes yes, sir. Only sometimes, huh? Okay, we will see. No. Okay. no, no problem. Don't worry. It's not uh, an examination. There is no correct or wrong answer. So you can give, you know, you can give the answer whatever you feel like. Okay. So no problem. So let's okay, see. Let's, there is a social experiment. Let's see. Okay. This is a so social experiment. I will just explain it to you. There is audio, but nonetheless, you know, let's say if it is not very clear, I will explain it to you. Then you can watch it. So you know, you know, this is actually an eye clinic. They conducted this uh, experiment. You will have patients, right? They they come and they wait. You know, they will sit in the chair and they will wait. What they do is yeah. they hit a buzzer. Buzzer, the rima. Buzzer. You know what the buzzer yes, is, sir. right? It makes a sound. Yeah. They hit a buzzer, 
and they made one person stand up after the buzzer hits one person stands up right i mean you need not stand up but that's what the, you know, it's an experiment so that person stood up second time the buzzer hit the person stood up like that now the person kept on standing the other people they looked at it and they felt like we should also stand up and everybody started standing up right and this is the experiment even the people who came much later who did not know anything about it they were standing up so let's watch it to answer that question we set up a hidden camera experiment to see if this woman would... you are able to get the audio right everybody yes sir okay so let me play from the beginning so to answer that question we set up a hidden camera experiment to see if this woman would stand up at the sound of this tone simply because everyone else is you might be thinking you'd never go along with this or would you After just three years, without knowing why she's doing it, this woman is now conforming perfectly to the group. But what happens if we take the group away? Elaine, please. Okay, now she's alone. The crowd is gone and nobody is watching her except our hidden cameras. What do you think she'll do? She's now conforming to the rules of the group, not them <laughs> even being there. Now, watch what happens when we introduce another outsider who doesn't know the rules. Have a seat and they'll be out in just a couple minutes. Great, thanks. thanks so much. what to do <laughs> we kept the cameras rolling as more unsuspecting patients arrived <laughs> <laughs> and slowly but surely, <laughs> when it's a random rule for this woman, oh, it is now a special norm for everyone in this waiting room. Hmm? Here to explain what's going on in their brains is Jonah Berger of the University of Pennsylvania. This sort of internalized form of herd behavior is part of what we call social learning. Starting at a very early age, when we see members of our group perform a task, our brains literally reward us for following in their footsteps. When I saw everybody stand up, I felt like I needed to join them. Otherwise, I'm like excluded. Once I decided... Okay, did, you know, this is very important for you to listen. So, did you get what she was saying? When everybody stood up, okay i just felt like i should also stand up else i will be left excluded is my voice audible yes sir okay right i'll play this again because this is very important because this is what everybody goes through right yeah let's listen again in their footsteps when i saw everybody stand up i felt like i needed to join them otherwise i'm like excluded once i decided to go with it then I felt much more comfortable. <laughs> Conformity is how we become socialized, but it can also cause us to develop bad habits or repeat past wrongs. And it's why even this rebel, who wasn't standing for any of this nonsense, eventually joined the rank. And the only thing more shocking than seeing how easily conformity affects the way you act is that similar forces are subconsciously shaping the way you think. 
Okay, so it's actually a huge topic in itself. But you know, uh, let's cut the video here and let's let me ask you. So, what did you understand? Enna purinchi ungal ke? Ella searching ella. Of course, this was not a comedy clip. <laughs> There is a huge learning here. So, what did you learn? People mindlessly follow what others do. Okay, people mindlessly follow what others do. Okay, that's correct. So this is called as herd mentality. Okay, so one of the names. This is called as herd mentality. You know what is a herd, right? You know what is a herd? Yes, no. Hello. Am I connected? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So this is called. A, you know what a herd is? I, I, I'm not able to hear you. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. So do you know what a herd is? Does everybody know what a herd is? Herd and no, another one. Herd and another one. Yes. Correct. Okay. So what what the you know majority of the people in a particular uh, place do? People follow it. Like the sheep, right? You know, one sheep went, other sheep went. Then you know, then the the rest of them they thought that we should also go, right? That's a herd mentality. So everybody goes, okay? So this is called as herd mentality. There are uh, other names for it as well, uh, but let's let's just you know for the sake of simplicity, let's uh, you know remember it as herd mentality. The question is, is herd mentality a problem? What is the problem if people have herd mentality? Is there a problem with this? No. No problem, right? Uh, what about the others? Do they say there is a problem with it? Some are saying yes. Okay. Can you ask them why? Why do they say yes? Enna prachana. Herd mental. Enna enna prachana. Sir, sometimes it will make them. It will influence them to do something which. Shouldn't be done. Like they'll mm. do bad things, which mm. will influence them to do it, sir. Okay. So sometimes you may end up doing bad things, is what you are saying. Okay. Fine. You are correct. Yes, yeah, you are absolutely correct. Right. So let's look at this picture. Look at this. Right. Why are these people coming here? Why? Because everybody is running towards this side. Correct. Can you see this? Yes. Right. And look what has happened. And there are people still, you know, lined up, and you now they are running, right? So why? Because everybody is running. So even if this guy falls off the cliff, it's okay because everybody is running, right? So it should be okay. Okay, it should be okay. And the feeling now, what is it? Now, what about old round? Yeah, you know, during the month, old the time, we are going to see. Itna per old round, itna per old round, le. But now, our guys are not old round. All right, all old round. We are old. Right, and you know, people run, and what happens? Everybody starts falling off the cliff, and this is exactly what happens. Okay, and it's a very serious problem uh, when you have a herd mentality. When you just follow what the majority of the people in your community, in your family, in your society, they do. Okay, so don't think it's only in society. It can be in your school. It can be in your family. Family, they are all are nare. What are they doing? You just follow that, right? I'll come to that in detail, inshallah, a little later. But you need to understand that herd mentality can be a huge problem. In fact, most of the cases, it is a huge problem, and I will tell you how, inshallah. Okay. Okay. So, what are the characteristics of herd mentality? First thing is they will follow others even if they are wrong. A tapa are they doing? All are doing. Okay. You are getting my point. A tapa is doing. Everybody is doing it, so I am also doing. Okay, so this is one. Number two, they ignore personal values and opinions. If you look at that, uh, uh, now that lady, right? What she was saying? She was saying, if I did not stand up with the other people, I felt left out, right? And I wanted to be, you know, uh, with. Uh, I wanted to join them. I wanted to fit in. So what what basically happens? Even if you have a different opinion, you don't act upon your opinion. You will have certain personal values. You don't act upon it because everybody else is doing different. All are with the asma bandranga, right? In the in Tamil, there is one uh, proverb. But anyways, I don't want to share it here. But there is one proverb, right? Uh, but I will put it in a very nice manner. 
when everybody is naked somebody is wearing a dress right they are considered crazy okay in tamil romba kochaya varum so i don't want to mention that but right in every, when everybody is roaming around naked you are wearing a dress then you are considered crazy right but actually you are the one who is decent right but why do they consider crazy why do they, why do they consider you as crazy because everybody is naked so you see right so you know the, you have certain values and opinions but what do you do you ignore them because everybody is is doing the thing that is opposite to your opinion and value okay so this is second problem number 3 is like that lady was mentioning you try to fit in with others right matha umari nammalo aidno ena namma matta vidhyasama irundha epdi prachana illa right and everybody has got an instagram account and people will ask you do you have an instagram account you will say no i don't have an instagram say, what you don't have an instagram account instagram account illa are you serious hey, hey, look at this guy man he doesn't have instagram account when you will get that complex ayyo ellarku instagram account irukku namakku mattum da illa pola irukku so what is the first thing you just go and you open an instagram account so this is herd mentality but we don't ask right okay what if i don't have an instagram account is instagram account wajib in islam is it wajib right you have to do it or is it really required that you know, if you have an instagram account your uh, quality of life will be enhanced nothing but everybody has got it so i should have it right so this is something where you know you don't do because you want to do because everybody is doing it you want to fit in mathavanga pandranga nradhukaga seyrudhu next is fear of missing out ellarum pandranga appo edho or reason irukanum right they must have some solid reason you know for, because that's why they are doing it what if i miss out on that gain avangal edho kadaikidha adanal dhaan pandranga pa appo na pannaandi enak adu kadaikam poiduchina so this is the second reason that is the fear of missing out fear of missing out okay basically what happens is you accept the decision of the majority even in that video that person actually mentioned right so you conform to the social norms whatever the majority in your society do you accept that decision okay is this clear so far yes sir okay so let's see if there are proofs of uh, herd mentality idukku proof iruka paapom i showed the video but in our daily lives and i can give you some proof okay the first proof is sorry the first proof is fashion you know fashion right the way we dress it is based on herd mentality i'll give an example so whose dress is this id yarude dress solunga paapom dress paathale theriyudhu yaar yaar potturukada who is wearing it poor people poor beggar pichakaram na dress potturukan illaya you see right right you see the bag shoe idella now who is wearing this the rich people the fashionable yeah. fashionable not rich people even you know um, poor people they do it right so you can see that pichakaram porra dress iniki makkal potu talaran kata fashion ah for 20 years ago munadi before 20 years if somebody had worn a dress like this what do you think they would have been called nalla irukra dress kichirukan you see right it's not like it is you know uh, manufactured this way they manufacture it properly then they you know tear it kichirukan nalla irukra dress kichirukan ripped jeans torn jeans idukala peru fashion peru okay so you know if somebody wears like this like let's say 20 years ago somebody was wearing a dress like this jeans in mari kinje jeans potu varan what will you call him pichakara solla matta pichakara vandu is doing it out of poverty nalla irukra alu nalla irukra dress kichi potu varan right it's a good dress but you know he has torn it he has you know ripped it apart and he comes to you what do you will call him disabled mental konja edo problem thalaila right some issue that is exactly what people are doing today you know why everybody is doing it but they don't think you know does it make any sense you know only you know beggar allathu paithiyakaran right either a beggar or a madman a crazy guy only will wear a dress like this i mean what sense does it make but no everybody is doing it the cinema stars they wear a dress like that and everybody copies it now it has become a fashion and this is just an example same thing with the hair style right same thing with the beard you see right you know before 15 years having a beard was not fashionable today having a beard is fashionable why you look at virat kohli beard you look at ranveer singh beard 
right? Because you know, you know, they are the fashion icons, style icons. So now everybody has got a beard now. You go and see, you no, know, that's a fashion, right? Everybody is sporting a beard. So you can see that, right? The fashion, our sense, everything is dictated by what people do in the society. Right? And tomorrow, if people want to roam around naked, majority of them want to roam around naked, what do you think the other people will do? Many people have started roaming around naked or half naked. Let's say half naked. Half naked, already they are roaming around like that. By the way, and let's say, right, you know, it's becoming very common. Even in Pondi, right, wherever you see, like, you know, people are half naked, like how it is in certain Western countries. If majority of them are, you know, slowly starting to move like that. What do you think will happen to the others? Will they accept it or will they challenge it? They will accept it. They will accept it. Not just accepting it. They will also start dressing like that. Getting my point? So this is a very huge problem. So is this only in dress? What about career? If I ask you, what do you want to become? All the science students will either say they want to become an engineer or they want to become a doctor. Okay? And the common students, maybe they will say they want to become CA. Don't we have any other profession in the world? Huh? Why only doctor and engineer? Because that is what everybody does. You know, everybody, ah, doctor, I want to become doctor. I want to become doctor. Where do you want to become? What do you want to become an engineer? Ah, I want to become an engineer. 90% of the people, you know, they're not even getting jobs. They're unemployed. Go and check the statistics. I'm talking about engineers. And doctorates, you know, I don't want to even talk about, right? If you don't do a PG, then you know what your worth is. Go and check with the MBBS, how much they earn, how much they struggle. So it's not for money. You know, only very few people in that, right? The cream of the lot, they earn more money. For others, there is no money in it. People don't know this. There is this craze. Why, Why is this craze? It is because everybody is doing it. And if you know, right, you go and talk to in counseling, they will say, uh, season, Marda, you know, right? Season, right? Fruit season, mango season, grape season, Marie. Uh, every two or three years, the season will change for engineering. One season will be computer science uh, engineering season. Everybody wants only computer science. Another season will be triple E season. Everybody wants a triple E. Another season will be ECE. Everybody wants electronics and communication. Huh? So in the Mary, you know, the season Mary Marie Dergo. You want to check with counseling people, they will tell you. Oh, funny you know what 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 is causing this season because everybody is taking it why did you take uh, ece uh, everybody is taking it i asked this person i asked that person and that person said the ece is good so i have taken it so the, even our careers this is how it is this is just a homework okay you need not do it now but you have to do it later inshallah i want you to list down 10 careers 10 careers, whether you are a commerce student, then list down 10 careers. If you are a science student, doesn't matter, you list down 10 careers. Engineering, doctor, you should not write engineering and doctor if you are a science student. And if you are a commerce student, you should not write CA. But I, I want you to list 10 careers that actually pay you well. You can earn a lot in those 10 careers. Can you write 10 careers? How many of you can tell me uh, I can write 10 careers apart from engineering, doctor, or CA? Who can tell me 10 careers? I am not going to ask you to you know, name them now, but are you confident of writing down 10 careers? Can you ask them? Is there yes, anybody? Sir. They are able to? They are able to write many 10 careers? Yes, Sorry? Many are saying yes, sir. Many are saying yes. Okay. Even if it uh, now goes, uh, the time goes a little bit, can and ask them to tell me what are those 10 careers? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? I said no engineering. No, I said no engineering. No engineering, no medicine, no CA. CA is for the commerce group. Right? No engineering, no medicine, no CA. Sir. Hmm. Sir. Yeah. IFS. IFS. Okay, civil services. Okay. But civil huh? services you can do only after you do a graduation. Okay, fine. Anyways, I'll take it. Go ahead. Okay, civil services is one. Okay. Next. Sir, aviation, sir. Aviation, okay, two. Hmm. Sir, agriculture, sir. Agriculture, who said that? 
who said there is money in agriculture <laughs> i want to see that person's face right chumma sollanu nradhuga solla kodadha pa you know something process regarding to that sir something regarding to that okay fine okay take it next ha huh. Sir, sir. Yeah. Sir, sir. 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 you can do any profession but i said there should be also money in it okay you think that you know being a professor will give you a lot of money okay then you, you need to check up the stats uh, which is actually not very true last week then you want it yeah but the law b com b a i a s i p s it's done no, civil services done that's one category done aviation 2 agriculture 3 academics 4 what else business like 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 what that is what i'm saying don't like say business. business don't say business business in what okay so i want to stop you here and think about it was it very easy to come up with these names we have come to just four four ku da vandirukom etna per irukinga you are you know you are so many uh, people in this all we have come to only four professions right fifth one we are saying business that is very vague what in business right even a petty shop a petty kada that is also a business right or is it something like that or you know is it you know real estate what is it right so that is not very clear so only four there are so many people and it has taken some time for you to give out four names why do you think you are struggling with this and you know you are about to finish your you know 12 you know second pu and 12th and you are you know, getting you know you know going to the next phase of your life why is it why is this struggle i will tell you why it is an influence of herd mentality because the common careers that is spoken about is engineering medicine and if you are a commerce student it is ca that's it but there are a lot of other professions right where you can make lot of money where there is lot of scope okay but anyways i'm not going to get into it because that's not my uh, topic for discussion but nonetheless i want you to understand that unless you come out of this social right that that bubble or bubble irukle and the bubble ku la irundinga na idala therive theriyadu adhil irundhu veliya varanum right and you should think for yourself right only then you will be able to see it okay so even career people only follow herd mentality so many people said agriculture i don't know if they are really serious summa sollanu nradha solla kodadhu will you take up agriculture that is a question adhu irukudhu seri but will you take it up neenga edupingla agriculture ah bsc agriculture servingla adhan question சும்மா பேருக்கு சொல்ல கூடாது இதெல்லாம் சொல்லிட்டு கடத்துல பி இல்ல போய் சேர்றது ரைட் சோ தட் ஷட் நாட் பீ தி கேஸ் சோ யூ نو when you say something you should be serious about it okay so anyways i leave it to you for you to think about it but the point here is come out of the box right come out of that social bubble and start thinking about it the world is very big there are a lot of new opportunities the world is changing இன்னைக்கு என்ன தேவை next 10 15 years ல என்ன தேவை that is what will be in demand that's how you should start thinking and that should be your career right not what people did 10 years ago 10 varshama vandha money ite irukanga adhe dhaan makkal pannuvaanga it will take you know it will take some time for change why because people are hurt somebody has to change and then they will change right if you are following the hurt you will be left behind neenga romba pinnadi peruvinga right so you should be leaders right neenga you should think for yourself ungalku neengale sindhana pannu okay anyway so you know just keep this in mind next is religion what about religion do we have heard mentality in religion or no irka liya heard mentality irka liya ma no sir no ah abdiya okay let me ask you this question how many of you will be muslims if you are not born in a muslim family be honest chumma solla kodada yes en solradhu easy how many of you will be muslims if you are not born in a muslim family 
that's a very big question mark that's a very big question mark most of us we are muslims why because we were born in a muslim family christian family la porandha christian ave irundirpom hindu family la porandha da hindu ave irundirpom why am i saying this because that search for truth is absent within us and the unmaya kandupidikinongirathu namakulla illave illa enna irukudho apdi ootittu porudhu muslim a porandhutom apdi muslim a irukudhu christian a porandhundha apdi christian a irukudhu hindu a porandhundha apdi hindu a irukudhu edhu satyam what is the truth did we try or did we make an effort to know what is the truth idhaan unman kandupidikiradhu ena moyarchi pannirukama that's the question only if we have done that and you have arrived at a conclusion idha na moyarchi panni or mudivu vandirken idellam paathutan pa idhu dhaan satyam then i can say i am not a muslim because i was born in a muslim family i am a muslim because i have come to the conclusion that islam is the truth i have explored other religions and i know for sure that islam is the truth and the mari etna perala namak solla mudiyum not just you don't think i'm just i'm now talking about in the society go and ask that might be your parents also again herd mentality abbe irukrom ella irukranga abbe podu right we have not thought for ourselves namakku namai sindhikala so this is you know being a muslim second let's say salah namaz we pray because everybody here is praying ellaru tholuranga nam inga tholurom when you go home do you still pray how many of you pray fajr regularly you need not tell me ask yourself fajr etna per regular ah tholuringa right inga tholuringala you will pray duhar and asar here because everybody is praying right herd mentality you cannot be the odd man out you cannot be left out so everybody prays and you will go and pray but do you pray fajr regularly that's a question you should ask yourself you need not answer it to me ungulkulle ninga ketunga ask yourself do i pray fajr regularly if no why again hurt me if you are not praying regularly it's hurt mentality you are praying here because not because you know salah is important if namaz and salah is important it is important for fajr also right but it doesn't apply there why because there is no hurt mentality nobody else is praying i don't know whether in your family they pray fajr or not right if they pray fajr then you will be encouraged to pray if they are not praying fajr nalada pochu anga amma appa ve tholuvudilla right enga nana naniye tholuvudilla dada dadiye tholuvudilla right so what is the point you see right even religion is based on herd mentality whatever your family does majority of them if they are all practicing there are very high chances that you are also practicing if they are not practicing muslims right they pray only juma right the father or your uncle or your cousin whoever it is they only pray juma right you know you most of the times you see in the society they just inherit the same habit adhe maari dhaan ivaru irpaar yen apdi irukranga why are they like this again herd mentality ella apdi irukraru ivaru apdi irukraru there is no independent thinking illa avaru apdi irukraru sari idu sariya is it correct should a muslim live like that and the question varadilla you just confirm what about hijab for sisters ingalla mashallah hijab potittu nalla irukringa right you are all wearing hijab let's say you are in a place where you are the only person in hijab everybody around is in with you know tank tops and jeans ella matha ladies there they are in jeans and tank top and what not would you still have the guts and courage to continue wearing hijab yes nu solla easy ah solradhu easy ah yes yes nu think about it would you and the guts varuma neenga la irupinga na hijab dhaan poduven solla mudiyuma allathu you will you will be left out right everybody is in jeans and you know they are like dressed in a very in a, in a inverted comma modern manner right inverted comma i don't consider it modern but i'm just saying that's how they people perceive it right in inverted commas modern manner right you are the only person in hijab would you still be convinced that or will you have the conviction that i will continue to wear hijab na hijab dhaan na continue pannuven appadi solradhukku ungalku courage irukuma conviction irukuma allathu would you consider ellaru apdi irukranga namma mattum why should i be the odd person out let me also blend in let me also fit in right avangalukku jeans tight jeans idu podaatalum konjam salwar kameez adu podalam 
எதுக்கு ஹிஜாப் அப்படின்ற மென்டாலிட்டி வருமா வட் யூ ஸ்டார்ட் திங்கிங் லைக் ஒன் இஃப் நாட் திஸ் டைட் ஜீன்ஸ் அண்ட் டைட் டாப்ஸ் அட்லீஸ்ட் வாட் அபவுட் சல்வார் கமீஸ் ரைட் ஏன்னா லெட் மீ புட் திஸ் ஹிஜாப் ஆஃப் அண்ட் லெட் மீ ஸ்டார்ட் வேரிங் சல்வார் கமீஸ் By the way, is these things possible or not? Or am I making it up? Is this what I'm saying? Is this what I'm saying? Is this what I'm saying? What do you think? Yeah, I'm saying that yeah? it happens. Sir. It happens, right? It happens a lot of time. This is what is happening in the society. Okay? Now, this is with religion. Okay? Bad habits. Invariably, you go and ask anybody. A smoker, you go and ask a smoker. How did you start smoking? he will say because my friends ask me to smoke drinking how did you start drinking he will say because in you know, a social drinking everybody was drinking they gave me a peg so i drank drug abuse taking drugs how did you get into drugs because you know my friend was doing it somebody was doing it that's how it is you need to understand nobody is forcing anybody to do this ninga cigarette kudichada avana avana katti vechi maratrana is anybody threatening you with knife Yeah, you have to you know smoke cigarette or you have to drink alcohol nobody is doing it so why would people go into this because of the herd mentality you are in a group five people are smoking you are the sixth person aaru aaru per irukranga adha anju per dam adikranga aara adhal ottru kaandu irukkaru i can tell this because i have experienced this and they will offer you a cigarette cigarette kudupanga kudi take it back or puff ile or ile come on just try it man adinwa now there will be a lot of this pressure right and everybody will say anju per send it sollu all the five will say because avanukku enna na ivan mattum dam adikama vandirukara namakku vande odamukku we are spoiling our health ivan mattum nalla irundha epdi union kedukano illa so he is going anju per send it they will try to you know, force you right adi macha machi onna oru onna vada adra adra all right you know if you don't think for yourself you have a hurt mentality what will happen you will say okay give it right and within one week this guy is also a smoker same thing with drinking or peg adi machi ore or peg or peg macha onnume illa simple matter there is very simple thing man just one peg what will happen if you drink one peg what what will the world come down will the sky fall down what will happen see we are all drinking da come on no. herd mentality everybody is doing it drinking or peg adicha right social drinking then you know within no time you are an alcoholic same thing with drugs just try you see the kick man just try then it will keep kicking you for your life your entire life is destroyed this is herd mentality right this is very 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 important for you to understand right not not only in bad habits even in religion in career in fashion right you completely lose your identity namakku or identity irukku every person has got an identity you completely lose an identity you are someone else நீங்க யாரோ மாதிரி இருக்கீங்க ஏன் யாரோ மாதிரி இருக்கீங்க நீங்க நீங்க எப்படி இருக்கணும் அப்படி இல்ல அவன் எப்படி இருக்கணும்னு நினைக்கிறானோ அப்படி இருக்கீங்க திஸ் இஸ் சம்திங் தட் யூ டு கீப் இன் மைண்ட் அண்ட் தட்ஸ் வை திஸ் இஸ் வெரி வெரி டேஞ்சரஸ் ரைட் திஸ் மென்டாலிட்டி இஸ் வெரி டேஞ்சரஸ் யூ டு பி கான்சியஸ் இந்த மென்டாலிட்டி பத்தி ரொம்ப கவனமா இருக்கணும் நெவர் பி த ஹேர்ட் எல்லா கும்பல்ல இருக்கிற அந்த கும்பல்ல கோவிந்தான்னு சொல்லுவாங்கல்ல அந்த கும்பல்ல கோவிந்தா வேலைக்கே ஆகாது ரைட் யூ ஷுட் நெவர் பி லைக் தட் ஓகே நவ் யூ ஐ வாண்ட் டு ஷோ யூ அண்ட் வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் திங் ஹியர் இட்ஸ் அ வெரி ஓல்டு வீடியோ ஸோ ஐ கிவ் அ பேக் கிரவுண்ட் பிஃபோர் ஐ பிளே த வீடியோ ஸோ தே ஆக்சுவலி தி ஹேர்ட் மென்டாலிட்டி இஸ் எக்ஸ்ப்ளாய்டட் இந்த ஹேர்ட் மென்டாலிட்டி இருக்கு இல்லையா தே ஆர் எக்ஸ்ப்ளாய்டட் பை பிஸ்னஸஸ் பை திஸ் கார்பரேட் ஆர்கனைசேஷன்ஸ் பை பாலிட்டீஷியன்ஸ் பை திஸ் என்டர்டெயின்மெண்ட் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி in the industry la irukla entertainment industry politicians uh, in the corporate uh, companies they all exploit this herd mentality okay so, and this is a classic uh, example of that and inshallah we will see in the coming weeks we will see more right how we are falling into their trap eppadi nama avanga valaikula ulrom endradha nama detail la paapom idha therinjikano right this video is about how women started smoking uh, ladies cigarette kudikranga illaya right back then the women were not smoking அவங்க தம் அடிக்கிறது இல்ல பெண்கள் வந்து தம் அடிக்க மாட்டாங்க ரைட் இட் வாஸ் நாட் கன்சிடர் ப்ராப்பர் ஓன்லி ஜென்ஸ் யூஸ் டு ஸ்மோக் ஸோ தெர் இஸ் திஸ் கை ஹூ இஸ் வந்து அமெரிக்கன் டொபோக்கோ டொபாக்கோ கார்பரேஷன் ஏடிசின்னு சொல்லிட்டு ஏன்னா இட்ஸ் அ வெரி பிக் சிகரெட் கம்பெனி இன் யூஎஸ் ஸோ தட் கை த கை ஃப்ரம் தட் கம்பெனி ஹி வாண்டட் டு இன்க்ரீஸ் த ரெவென்யூ அவனுக்கு வந்து நிறைய காசு சம்பாதிக்கணும் இப்போ அவங்க வந்து ஒரு ஐடியா தோணுச்சு 
வாட் இஃப் யூ மேக் தி விமன் ஸ்மோக் பெண்கள்லாம் தம் அடிக்க வச்சா நிறைய சிகரெட்ஸ் விற்கும்ல யூ வாண்ட் டு செல் மோர் சிகரெட்ஸ் அண்ட் மேக் மோர் மணி ஸோ வாட் யூ தாட் வாஸ் இஃப் ஐ கேன் மேக் தி விமன் ஸ்மோக் பொம்பளைங்கள்லாம் தம் அடிக்க வச்சிட்டோம்னா தென் ஆப்வியஸ்லி சிகரெட் சேல்ஸ் வில் கோ அப் ஐ வில் ஏர்ன் மோர் மணி So he planned for something. So he approached a guy called Edward Barnes. Edward Barnes is considered to be the father of PR. PR is public relations. You all are not public relations. Right? You know, the, the, the cinema actresses, uh, the politicians, uh, the news that comes, everything is public relations. All are fake. Nothing is real. They are doing it, they are doing it, they are doing it. All are going. Right? It's all, you know... in an image that is created a false or a fake image that is created for you to believe anyways so the point is you know so this guy approaches that that atc guy the american tobacco corporation guy he approaches this fellow and he is trying to tell him i want you to make women smoke okay this is the background purincha it clear a irukka ellarkum pombalaingala eppadi cigarette kudiki vekkiradengiradhu dhaan project evlo nalla project parunga right let's see what happens His most dramatic experiment was to persuade women to smoke. At that time there was a taboo against women smoking, and one of his early clients, George Hill, the president of the American Tobacco Corporation, asked Bernays to find a way of breaking it. Every year, New York held an Easter Day parade to which thousands came, and Bernays decided to stage an event there. He persuaded a group of rich debutantes to hide cigarettes under their clothes. then they should join the parade and at a given signal from him they were to light up the cigarettes dramatically bernays then informed the press that he had heard that a group of suffragettes were preparing to protest by lighting up what they called torches of freedom he knew this would be an outcry and he knew that all of the photographers would be there to capture this moment and so he was ready with a phrase which was torches of freedom and so here you have a symbol women young women debutantes smoking a cigarette in public with a phrase that means anybody who believes in this kind of equality pretty much has to support them in the ensuing debate about this because torches of freedom i mean what's on all american coins it's liberty she's holding up the torch you see and so all of this is there together there's emotion there's memory there's a rational phrase even though it's using a lot of emotional elements it's a it's a phrase that works in a rational sense uh, all of this is together and so the next day this was not just in all of the new york papers it was across the united states and around the world and from that did you see the thing let's read this group of girls puffed cigarettes as a gesture of freedom as a gesture of freedom okay as a gesture of freedom they they smoked cigarettes it seems this is a news item okay let's watch the world and from that point forward uh, the sale of cigarettes to women began to rise he had made them socially acceptable with a single symbolic act what bernays had created was the idea that if a woman smoked it made her more powerful and independent an idea that still persists today the idea that smoking actually made women freer was completely irrational okay so enna purinjichu idla ungalku what did you understand did you understand what the video was about or do you want me to explain you please explain us okay So what happened is what this guy did is you know in New York the, all the people gather for the Easter Day parade right in New York is a very big city right in US so all the people gathered so what this fellow did is he hired some uh, ladies young ladies and he asked them to smoke cigarette okay and the young ladies ellam kootte neengala cigarette pudikkanu nu sonnar avaru ellam set up ivar kootte neenga cigarette pudinga nu solli kaas kodutu kootitte vande cigarette pudikka solli he made the press press irukku lya press vande photo edukka sonna காசு கொடுத்து பிரஸுக்கும் பிரஸ்னா அது என்ன தி பீப்புள் ஃப்ரம் தி மேகசின்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆல் தட் ரைட் தி கால் தம் அண்ட் யூ சா தட் இன் தி வீடியோ இஃப் யூ ஆக்சுவலி சி என்ன தே வில் பி ஆக்சுவலி யூ நோ டேக்கிங் சி தீஸ் ஆர் தி திங் பிரஸ் ரைட் யூ சி த பிரஸ் ஸோ தே ஆர் டேக்கிங் தி பிக்சர் பிக்சர் எடுத்துட்டு ஹி மேட் தெம் பப்ளிஷ் இன் ஆல் தி நியூஸ் பேப்பர்ஸ் என்னென்ன தி விமன் ஆர் லைட்டிங் டார்ச்சர்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃப்ரீடம் யூனோ வாட் இஸ் ஃப்ரீடம் ரைட் ஃப்ரீடம் இஸ் ஃப்
and the cigarette on the torch on you know torch right and you know the statue of liberty the lady will stand with the torch right yes uh, so and the mari cigarette on the torch on enna the light pandrangala freedom odi torch a light pandrangala abdina or caption kuduthu he gave a caption like that and it was published right in fact you know i'm just only showing a bit of this documentary in the documentary he, he also got doctors he paid doctors ella poi kaasu kuduthu doctor vandu he made doctors tell that the women who smoke are more confident the ladies la dam adikiravanga romba confident nu solli doctor vachi poi solla sonna this is how they manipulate now right what happened right and you can see that in later in the video they are showing the same the showing, right? symbolic these are all movies movies and inga irundha dramas adala pathinga na they were showing repeatedly showing women smoking right see they are repeatedly showing women smoking you can see that right they are repeatedly showing women smoking so what happens the paga 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 ah oh, ladies happy. yeah the ladies smoking then i mean it's okay right why not if men can smoke why not women correct so this is the mentality that he created again herd mentality nobody challenged right and a freedom ku cigarette ku enada sambandham nu kekano because in this itself they say that it is irrational if you see that i'll show it to you listen to it carefully united states and around the world and from that point forward uh, the sale of cigarettes to women began to rise he had made them socially acceptable with a single symbolic act What Bernays had created was the idea that if a woman smoked, it made her more powerful and independent. An idea that still persists today. The idea that smoking actually made women freer was completely irrational. See, he says that it's completely irrational, right? But people bought into it. People are me kekla. Now, freedom ko cigarette ko enna sambandham? What is the connection between freedom and cigarette? Nobody asked. so irrational so stupid so dumb and why did he do it he did it to help the cigarette company so that he can earn more money you see how evil it is evlo evil pathingala this is exactly what they do today nothing different inshallah i will prove it in the coming weeks namakku onnume theriyadhu edha sonna herd sheep ellara mandranga nammalum apdi porudhu aattu manda mari when everybody does it we also go we don't think right and this is a huge problem right is this clear can you ask them if that uh, you know th- that video was clear after i explain or do you want me to play it again sir it is clear it's clear it's clear okay fine now the question is what does the quran say about herd mentality what do you think that does quran uh, encourage herd mentality or no quran encourage mo othukuda sorry herd mentality paravalla apdi irunga aattu manda mari irunga nu quran solluda illa enna solludu what do you think does quran accept herd mentality No. Yes. Yes or no? No. No. Does everybody think no? Yes, sir. Everybody thinks no. Everybody thinks no. Okay. Let's look at this ayat from Surah uh, uh, Araf, ayat number 179. The translation is, surely we have destined most of the jinn and humans for hell. Majority of the jinn and the humans, they will go to hell. Why? They have hearts they do not understand with. Ullangal irukku, ana sindhikyadu. they have eyes they do not see with kannu irukku ana paakadu ears they do not hear with kaadu irukku ana kekadu so allah is not talking about the biological function here obviously biologically they can see they can hear but pa na solran liya i am telling you right you are seeing with your own eyes how they are manipulating it right eppadi manipulate pandranga eppadi makkala vandu deceive pandranga eppadi cheat pandranga nu pa na video potu kaatna and if you look at it everything is like that despite this people should see right kannala paakanum la if somebody comes and tells you what is the connection between freedom and cigarette and ketta yosikinum la you should think right ama na correct dana avan da edho kirka mari solran vera na freedom ku cigarette ku sambandham illa da freedom enna cigarette ku enna da sambandham kekanum right they should ask that question but no no most of them will not why because like sheep everybody does it we will also do that is what allah says they are like cattle they are like cattle the sheep cattle varuma varada varuma varada ma yes they are yes, like cattle yes. and allah says in fact they are even worse than them bal hum adal why are they worse because cattle they only have five senses they do not have the rational intellect correct or and the semmariyaduku sindhikka mudiyuma sindhikka mudiyadu 
So it can only do that. But what about us? SubhanAllah, Allah has blessed us with this intellect. We can think. We can find out what is good and wrong. If that guy, he can be so evil and he can plan. Allah has given us the intelligence to find out that evil plan. evil plan set up ladies a cigarette He made a plan, right? Or plan So if he can make that, he's also a fellow human being, right? If he can make an evil plan, why can't we use our intelligence to find out that it is an evil plan? evil plan intelligence use evil plan the intelligence that I'm using, he's also using the same intelligence in a crooked manner. Why can't we use the, use the intelligence in the correct manner? Definitely we can do. Why? Because majority of them are like cattle. So they have intelligence, but they don't use it. So what do they become? They're even worse than cattle. Cattle cannot think. So it is understandable that they behave like that. Cattle is okay. He can think, but if he's acting like cattle, he's definitely worse than them, right? That's what I'm saying. If you're a kid, 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 you're a kid. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. So Allah says, those are the ones who do not pay attention and listen. I'm, I, I'm sure that there might be some Urdu speaking uh, you know, kids here. You know, in Urdu, there's a word called gaflat. Do you know the word gaflat? Gaflat terima? Gaflat na na na? Yes or no? No, we don't know, sir. Go. Okay. Okay. That's actually a very nice word called gaflat. Gaflat means, right, when everybody is telling you, you don't pay attention to it. You are very heedless. Adapati kandukaradella. Idala sonna the kapramungoda. They don't care. They will continue to do what they were doing. Right? So this is what, you know, the, these are the people who do not pay attention and they do not listen. And that is why what is happening to them, it's very serious. This is why they end up in hellfire. It's not, you know, sadharna this is not a you know, simple matter. It's a very serious matter because they end up in hellfire. Why? Because of this herd mentality. Okay, this is one. And number two, there's one more ayat where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Anam, Surah 6, ayat number 116. If you were to obey most of those on earth, they would lead you astray. Majority of the people in the world, you will be astray. You will go away from Allah's way. They follow nothing but assumptions and do nothing but lie. Subhanallah. Now, word by word, it, it is so accurate. Look at that, you know, that uh, cigarette and freedom. Assumption. Yes. Not even an assumption. It's actually a lie. It's not an assumption. It's actually a lie. He deliberately lied, that fellow, Edward Barnes. He deliberately lied. It's not an assumption. He lied. There are several other assumptions we make. The assumptions that we make about career. Engineering, na update erglan. Right? People think engineering. Majority of the people, they're jobless. Go and check. But everybody wants to become an engineer. I don't know for what. That is an assumption. Why? Because everybody is doing it. Ellarum mandra pakkathu vittle engineer, our engineer, your engineer. Right? Everybody is an engineer now. Right? So that is why you, know, you also want to become an engineer. Somebody said civil engineering. I don't know what are the career opportunities available in civil engineering. You know, you must do a research. Right? Civil engineering. You must do a research. Right? You just find out. If you are passionate about it, it's a different matter. Then you can do anything. But right, but if you are not passionate about it, you are doing just because everybody is doing it, somebody is doing it. That you know, my uh, my uh, father's friends, cousins, son, he was doing it. I mean, these are like you know herd mentality, right? So you need to think for yourself, and you can see that most of the times we follow assumptions, and a lot of the times it's actually a lie. Oi. So this is the reality. This is the problem with herd mentality, right? So the question is, do you want to be a sheep? Ipa solunga. Do you want to be a sheep? No, sir. Everybody agrees. Yes, everybody. Say. So how can you not be a sheep? That's the question, right? Okay, I don't want to be a sheep. Fine. So what should I do? The question was, what should we do now? 
we should think and we should not follow a, as it is what others do correct you should think for yourself that is number 1 okay most importantly your thinking should be within the boundaries of what allah subhanahu wa taala says and what is messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam says basically your thinking should follow allah and his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam's guidance the main right anjilla 50 per vandu sollam dammadi machan i have experienced it i have gone through it several people have told me take take you know take cigarette i have never smoked alhamdulillah i have never smoked, smoked even once even once chuma apdi apdi kuda na pannadilla you know why i have my identity enakku or identity irukku i worked in a corporate company where drinking is very common drinking is very common right you go into any uh, you know office function people drink and people were shocked they were asking right you don't drink what is this they say take little bit i have alhamdulillah i have not even taken a single drop in my life not a single drop not even a beer right even beer single drop i don't even know how it tastes i have not taken alhamdulillah you know why because i have an identity and what is my identity my identity is i am a muslim that is my identity wherever i go i go to mars i am a muslim right i go I go anywhere it doesn't matter whom i am with i am a muslim that's my identity never ever would i want to let go of my identity that is who i am adha da na அவன் சொல்றான்றதுக்காக நான் செஞ்சேனா நான் நான் இல்ல ரைட் ஐம் ஐம் ஜஸ்ட் பிகமிங் வாட் ஹீ வாண்ட்ஸ் மீ டு பி ரைட் ஐம் நாட் மை செல்ஃப் திஸ் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன் திஸ் இஸ் தேர் இன் யுவர் பிரெயின் நோ படி கேன் ஃபோர்ஸ் யூ யார் உங்களுக்கு நோ படி வில் த்ரெட்டன் யூ வித் அ கன் ஆர் அ நைஃப் அண்ட் சே யூ ஹாவ் டு ஸ்மோக் யூ ஹாவ் டு ட்ரிங்க் யூ ஹாவ் டு டேக் ட்ரக்ஸ் நேரா சொல்லுவாங்களா நோ இட் இஸ் யூ ஹூ கோன் ஃபால் இன் த ட்ராப் நீங்க போய் உள்றீங்க டம்முனு நோ படி வில் ஃபோர்ஸ் யூ டு சே தட் யூ நோ யூ கேன் நாட் வேர் ஹிஜாப் nobody will do that which maratwaangala ninga vandu tight jeans ninga tight tops podlana avladana nobody will do that they will you know live the way they want because they are herd they they are sheep they will live like that because they can't think for themselves why do you, you want to go and lower yourself to that level avanga apdi dhaan irupanga ena avanga vandu aattu vanda they may not like hearing this but that is the truth call spade a spade they are aattu mandai avanga apdi dhaan irupanga நீங்க ஏன் பட் மனுஷனா அல்ல அவங்க மனுஷனா வாழ சொல்றான் நீங்க ஏன் பட் ஆடு மாதிரி இருக்கணும் நினைக்கிறீங்க அவன் உனக்கு கீழே இருக்கிறான் பா நீ அவனை மேல தூக்கணும் யூ ஷுட் கால் இன் ஏ ராசா நீ இப்படி இருக்க கூடாதுப்பா என்ன பாரு என்ன மாதிரி வா நீ நான் சொல்லி தரேன் எப்படி வாழணும் ஐ வில் டீச் யூ ஹவு டு லிவ் அதை விட்டுட்டு நம்ம என்ன பண்றோம் அவன் ஆட்டு மந்த என்ன பண்ணுதோ மனுஷனா இருக்கிறது கீழே போறோம் நம்ம நானும் ஆடு மாதிரி ஆயிடுறேன் ஐயோ ஐயோ மனுஷனா இருக்கிறதுலாம் வேணாங்க எனக்கு அதெல்லாம் அசிங்கம் ஆடு மாதிரி இருந்தா தான் நல்லது நானும் ஆடு மாதிரி ஆயிடுறேன் தட் இஸ் வாட் வி ஆர் டூயிங் right subhanallah so you have to be very very careful and this is within your family in your family you may have people who are practicing who are praying who may not pray unga veetla irukalam avanga tholuvalam tholuvama irukalam odalam odama irukalam avanga pray muslim islam ta practice pannalam pannama irukalam doesn't matter we are all adults you are all adults government ta portha alavula dhaan neenga adult illa adutha varsham dhaan ungalku vande voting rights adult nu varum as far as allah is concerned you are already adults please remember that you are already adults right whatever you are doing today you will be questioned on the day of judgment remember that you are not kids ninga kolandai kedaiyadu please remember this you are all mature and you know for whatever you do you will be questioned on the day of judgment ungal kelvi kanak irukudu anal kolandai kedaiyadu ninga adu ninga nalla purinjikano government porthalo ninga adutha varsham adult avinga but as far as islam is concerned as far as allah is concerned you are already an adult so keep this in mind so doesn't matter what anybody does unga amma appa enna pandranga prachana illa enna pandu potom it's about you what you want to do don't be a hurt unga kudumbathula yaro yaro fajr tholulla na neenga neenga vandu thoonga koodadu avanga ungala paathidha avanga varanum right they should look at you and say par yaar en paiyan en ponnu tholuvudhu solittu avanga you know they will feel guilty en ponnu paiyan tholuvudhu correct ah fajr enchi tholuvranga namaz pandranga na pannama irukuren so let me also pray and they will get inspired but what we do we are the herd for, you know, uh, mentality if they don't pray we don't pray if they don't recite quran we don't recite quran if they don't practice islam we don't practice islam no right think for yourself on the day of judgment we have to answer allah subhanahu wa taala individually tani taniya da allah kelvi kepar 
I have to stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. You will have to stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. The gumbal ala keli irkade. Any taniya badal sulno. Right? So I should take care of my destiny. Right? I should take care of what I have to do. And you should take care of what you have to do. And you have to think for yourself. Allah ka Allah ande ena kurtar kare. Intelligence kurtar kare. Right? He has given us the brain that we can use to understand and to make decisions inshallah so this is very very important so with this uh, we will end today's topic right and we, we will continue inshallah but you know continue uh, but for now you know we, i want to end it here because this is very important and this is throughout your life never follow the crowd a comedy arrangement you are all laughing right when the people stood up Right, you are all laughing, right? That is exactly how we behave. That's exactly how we behave, right? Others are, you know, if they see us, then they will also laugh at us. I mean, it's very funny, right? When somebody says, you know, that, uh, smoking cigarette is torching free, you know, light of freedom, it looks so funny and so stupid. Freedom to the cigarette, to the summer, right? It's so stupid, but that is what people did. Right, so we should not become, you know, so stupid, or we should not fall into that, uh, you know, social bubble where we become part of that art Monday. We don't want to be part of that sheep, the herd, right? We want to be Muslims, individual Muslims who follow the guidance of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That is our identity. This should be there in your head. Doesn't matter. The walagam pura send the where am I reporting? Ning you are the only person left. Right, everybody else, you know, is gone. You know, they are in a different world altogether. Their dressing is different, the thinking is different. They're, you know, they have got nothing to do with Islam. The entire world. Let's assume that. And you are the only person. Doesn't matter. If the entire world goes against it, also doesn't matter. Even if you are one person, you will follow Allah and His Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's guidance. Because that is our identity, and that is the truth. Okay. So, you have any questions? You can ask me. <laughs>